exercise 6c problems first one evaluate integral x minus 1 by x minus 2 into x minus 3 dx now let us say i is equal to integral x minus 1 by x minus 2 into x minus 3 dx now in order to find out integral of this function the partial fractions of this function first we have to find out so now let us consider consider x minus 1 by x minus 2 into x minus 3 is equal to a by x minus 2 plus b by x minus 3 where a comma b are constants are to be evaluated multiply both sides with x minus 2 into x minus 3 you get a into x minus 3 plus b into x minus 2 is equal to x minus 1. Now, put x is equal to 2. If you put x is equal to 2, this 2 minus 2, this becomes 0, whereas this is 2 minus 3, 1, but minus 1, that is minus a equal to 2 minus 1 is 1. So, a equals to minus 1, a equals to minus 1. Now, put x is equal to 2 to get now b value. If you put x is equal to instead of 2 better 3, this becomes 0, b equals to 3 minus 1, 2. So, b is equal to 2. So, therefore, partial fractions of x minus 1 by x minus 2 into x minus 3, x minus 1 by x minus 2 into x minus 3 is equal to a, a means minus 1 by x minus 2 plus 2 by x minus 3. Now, these are the partial fractions. Now, our aim is to find out the integral of this function. So, that means integral of this one we can write it. Now, i equals to integral of 2 by x minus 3 and minus 1 by x minus 2 dx we can write. So, we can split as two terms. This is 2 integral of 1 by x minus 3 dx and minus integral of 1 by x minus 2 dx. Now, integral of 1 by x minus 3 is we know that log mod x minus 3. So, 2 times log mod x minus 3, this is minus log mod of x minus 2 plus constant of integration. Second problem, evaluate integral of x square by x plus 1 into x plus 2 whole square dx. Now, let us say i is equal to integral x square by x plus 1 into x plus 2 whole square dx. Now, in this problem, we have to find out partial fractions of this function. 
Now consider this x square by x plus 1 into x plus 2 whole square equal to a by x plus 1, 1 partial fraction plus for x plus 2 whole square we get 2 partial fractions, they are b by x plus 2 and one more c by x plus 2 whole square. Let us write b by x plus 2 plus c by x plus 2 whole square. Now, a, b, c values we have to find out. Multiply with x plus 1 into x plus 2 whole square on both sides. So, x plus 1, x plus 1 cancel, we get a into x plus 2 whole square. Now, plus b of we get x plus 1 into x plus 2 plus c of x plus 1 x plus 1 equal to x square. Now, this we can write for our convenience. Now, put x is equal to minus 1. If you put x is equal to minus 1, the terms which contain x plus 1 factor becomes 0, this become 0, this become 0. So, a of 1 square equal to here minus 1 square. So, a equals to 1. Now, put x is equal to minus 2. If you put x is equal to minus 2, the terms which contain x plus 2 factor become 0, this become 0, this become 0. C of minus 1 equal to minus 2 square. So, minus C equals to 4, C equals to minus 4. Now, highest coefficient let us observe x square, here also x square. So, x square into a, x into x, x square into b a plus b, here x square coefficient is 1. So, equating x square coefficients, equating x square coefficients, we get this side a plus b, right hand side we have 1. Since here let us observe one, one more thing once again here a value x is equal to minus 1 ok that is 1 you will be getting a is equal to 1 a plus b a plus b equal to 1 ok. Ah, now if you put a is equal to 1 here 1 plus b is equal to 1, b becomes 0. Now, let us write the partial fractions. Therefore, x square by x plus 1 into x plus 2 square equal to a, a means 1 by x plus 1. Since b is 0, need not be written, need not be written c equals to minus 4. So, minus 4 by x plus 2 whole square. So, these are the partial fractions. Now, we have to integrate it. So, i is equal to integral 1 by x plus 1 minus 4 by x plus 2 whole square dx. Now, this is equal to integral 1 by x plus 1 dx minus 4 common 1 by x plus 2 whole square dx. Now, what do we get? Integral of 1 by x plus 1 is log mod x plus 1 
minus 4 into 1 by x square integral is minus 1 by x. So, this is minus 1 by x plus 2. So, this we can write log mod x plus 1 and plus 4 by x plus 2 plus constant of integration.